Hi, my name is Janae. If you're new here and if you like lifestyle, beauty, and fashion content, just go ahead and subscribe. Turn on my post notifications. So today I'm going to bring you guys a go-to makeup tutorial because I did an everyday makeup tutorial, but here's a difference because sometimes you want to look a little bit cuter than you do a little bit more. So that is my difference between this and that one. <laughs> but if you haven't already seen that video, you can go ahead and go watch it. So yeah, I just did my hair. I put them in these little braids with beads. Third. So I'm just putting them behind my ears so they're on my face. Don't judge me. But yeah, so anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Oh my gosh, this mirror is so dirty. You're gonna wanna start with your eyebrows. Oh my gosh, I forgot to say. If I never said this before, I always upload on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I upload every Tuesday and every Thursday. I think I need to make a new like channel header and put it up there so people can know. Cause I feel like that's important to know when people post, right? Or is that just me? Anyways, so I always start my eyebrows either way. It doesn't matter like what I'm doing, like what kind of makeup I'm doing. I always start my eyebrows. I feel like it's a good starter because they frame your face. So it's like a, well, sometimes I do them a little bit heavier than other times, but today I'm going to try to do them just neat. <laughs> I always start my eyebrows like kind of like right here, not directly in the front because I use, um, I usually try to blend it up towards the front and yeah. That's just a little eyebrow tip. It's an old one, but I just want to say sorry I didn't do my eyebrows on camera, but it's because I did them in my other video, which you can go watch if you want to know how to do my eyebrows. But in my everyday makeup tutorial, I did my eyebrows, and I feel like eyebrows are something that kind of took up a large part of the video, so I don't do it in every makeup video I do, if that makes sense. But yeah, I want this one to be more focused on the skin part, but... I'm just blending out the concealer right now. Sorry again, she can hear the freaking basement things in the background. But yeah, I think that's pretty good. What do you think? So now I'm gonna take this really light concealer and I'm just gonna put a little bit of my eyelid as a eyeshadow base. We're gonna do some eyeshadow, but it's not gonna be like a lot. It's gonna be like, I guess like a brown type of smoky eye. And I take this brush, sometimes I use this to blend out my concealer up here, but it's a really good to you know blend out the base of your eyeshadow because it's kind of bigger so that is what i'm doing right now as you can see okay so next you're gonna take a brown like a red kind of brown well a brown with the red undertone i'm using this one right here in the sephora palette i got it for christmas and we're doing a brown type of smoky eye so you just want to make this kind of your transition color but go a little bit light with it i want to say i mean the color is pretty pigmented so it's a little intense, but do your best to go light and just blend it out in your crease. Oh my gosh, I feel like my old YouTube self when I used to do all makeup videos. So sweet. You're just doing that on both eyes. And I must say, this eyeshadow, this whole makeup look is pretty quick, but this eyeshadow is really quick. Like, I literally just blended all of this out in like 30 seconds. <laughs> no exaggeration like i just did all of this in 30 seconds already i know we're not done but like that's still a lot you know and now you're gonna take a different blending brush i'm gonna use this one and i'm gonna go in with a deeper brown like a chocolatey brown i'm gonna go right underneath that one like literally right underneath it and blend the two together that's what we're doing at first with this brush And then after we blend this like this, we're gonna use the same color, but I'm just going to put it on the base of my eye, like on my eyelid itself. And for that, I'm gonna use a flatter brush, like this one. Oh, this one has a little bit of green in it. It's okay though. I need to clean my brushes. Just did a video on makeup care and I did not clean my brushes for a few weeks. So I need to clean my brushes. But yeah, you're gonna pat that same color on top of your eyelid. I hope all of this makes sense. And there you go, you got a brown smoky eye. And after that, you're gonna take the first brush you use and you're just gonna blend everything out. Like up here, here. Use a really light hand when you're blending. Okay, so next I'm just gonna take this highlight right here and this gold eyeshadow and I'm putting that in my inner corner. I usually wait to do this part. Well, sometimes I wait, but sometimes I do it automatically just to highlight the inner corner. So now we're gonna move into the face for a little while before we put on our eyeshadow. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this foundation. It's the Maybelline Fit Me 
foundation and 340 cappuccino this one's a little bit dark for me because i i bought it for my wigs and i use it for my wigs but sometimes when i feel like being a little fancy i use it on my face too yeah so i put a little bit on the back of my hand i don't really recommend doing that to be honest i think that you should like put it on a palette or something but i just didn't so i'm gonna take this big brush right here i'm gonna dip it in lightly and start on the side of my face with this foundation well sometimes because i had another one and it didn't do this it might be because it was a different finish but i blend it out in sections like i blend out this whole side when i start it so it doesn't dry up and look crazy and then do the other side i'm not even gonna probably use all of this that's on my hand because it's kind of a lot so whatever's left i'm just gonna wipe that off so i finished doing that and when this foundation oxidizes it does get a little bit darker but i'm not really worried about that right now i'm gonna take this concealer it's kind of light not gonna lie it's pretty light and i just put it wherever i will regularly put concealer usually i'll use my beauty blender to blend all this out but i don't feel like going to wet it <laughs> it's dry and who uses beauty blenders dry you know what i'm saying oh and recently i've been seeing a lot of like face makeup tiktoks you know what i'm saying like they be like oh dear thing like that and i've been trying some new makeup techniques is basically what i'm saying i'm thinking of doing more lifestyle videos because i feel like a lot of my videos recently have just been sit down which i do like to do but i just want to switch it up you know sometimes you just want to switch up your content that you're creating <laughs> so for this i'm going to use my foundation brush it looks like this I use it sometimes, sometimes I don't. I have a couple foundation brushes, which is why I just use a different one. But this is my original foundation brush. And I'm gonna blend all of this out. I saw something say that you wait like three or four minutes, I think, on your concealer before blending it out. And I used to do that, but I just don't feel like it. I just kinda wanna keep going, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you feel like doing all the extra stuff, but sometimes you just don't. And today I just don't. Hopefully you guys like this video so far. If you do, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'm so sorry I keep doing this self-promo thing, but you know, make a lot of videos twice a week. So I feel like you just wanna feel a little appreciated. Finally, I've been getting some more like black women content creators showing up on my YouTube like recommended and I'm so glad because they never used to show up and they recently have been and that makes me so excited because I like finding new black YouTubers and stuff to watch. So recently I found a few to watch and now we're gonna go in with the powder. Everything is mostly blended out. You guys can see. Oh, this face looks pretty flawless, not gonna lie. <laughs> But yeah, now we're gonna put some powder on. So for my powder, I'm using the Black Radiance one. It's like a banana powder. It looks like this. Sorry, I don't, I didn't show you the top, but that's what it looks like on the outside. And I'm using my dry sponge for this. It doesn't matter if it's dry because it's powder. This is why I think it's okay to use for this. And I don't really bake. I press it in. Like I press the powder into my skin first. And then right on the inner part, like right here, I put a little powder to sit for a second. I literally only leave it there until I'm done putting powder on my face. So, what you guys are about to see. I feel like this makeup is honestly pretty quick to do. Like, um, I've only been doing my makeup for maybe like 15 minutes. I feel like it's not a long time. That's just the powder I use when I want to set like lighter parts of my face. I'm gonna use this regular one to set the rest of my face. And I have this big, huge brush. I'm just gonna brush it over my cheeks and my forehead. I always forget about my forehead. I used to not even put any makeup on my forehead. Terrible mistake, rookie mistake, don't do that. There's a mirror back there and that's what I'm looking at. So sorry I haven't been looking directly at the camera as much, but yeah, I wipe, when I put on my face powder, I wipe off the extra powder that I left on my face. Sorry, I should have said that. But I'm about to go back in and put a little bit more highlight right there, so. And I'm also gonna put some on my brow bone. I forgot to do this earlier. And my nose, apparently. <laughs> I used to put on my eyelashes as soon as I finished my eyes, but I've recently learned to do that last. I always do eyelashes last. So I'm taking this foundation, but I just use it as a cream contour. I put it right there. And I'll use a little bit of it because it blends out like a lot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I put a line of it on each side of my face. I put it a little bit above that line because that's where it blends out to. I learned that it's better to put it higher because I used to put it right on that line and I think that's why my cheeks always look so droopy. Like, I used to look at my makeup and be like, I don't know why my cheeks look so droopy, but I figured out why. And this is why. I've been doing makeup that kind of gives me a facelift. I feel like this kind of lifts my face the way I did my concealer and the way I'm doing my contour. So, yeah. I cream contour with this foundation because I have no other use for it, to be honest. 
I got it when I did my friend's makeup once and I've never used it since because I don't do makeup anymore. But yeah, there you go, you blended it out. After that, I just take my Black Radiance Contour Powder and I use the one in the middle and I'll go over it. Oh, okay, I messed up a little. You caught me, but that's why you tap, people. Always tap. I just tap right over it like this. Okay, so next I go in with a pink blush, but I try not to make it too hot pink because I don't want to look like a clown. So I mix two. I mix my really hot pink one and this really baby pink one, and that is how I get my blush color. Some people go for more of an orange brush, look, an orange blush or like a red type of tone, peachy tone, and it's all up to your preference. So do whatever blush you like and makes you happy. I put a little bit on my nose <laughs> and I take my big brush and I just tap over it I've learned to stop swiping for some parts of my makeup I still swipe for some but sometimes tapping is better like when I'm tapping off my extra blush like this and then after that finally for my face this is the last step for our face and put on some highlight the same highlight that we use in our inner corner and brow bone but I just put a little bit of it. I don't want it to look like too much. We're not into that really bright, bright highlight anymore. Like, I remember back in like 2016, 17, 18, we were like, oh yeah, our highlight needs to bling across the screen, which is still nice at times, but most of the time it looks a little crazy. So, I don't know. People I've seen mostly have lightened up on their highlight. Maybe that's just me, but yeah. After this, I used to take my sponge, but now I just take this powder right here, the one that I used all over my face, and I take a smaller face brush for my powder, and I just use it to go underneath, like that. Instead of actually like cutting it with the sponge, because I feel like this is a little more natural. Because sometimes for me, when I used to cut it with the sponge, it was so hard to blend out that line that I left. So I started doing this, and I think this makes my cheeks look more up and my face looks more snatched, I think, if I'm not crazy. So now that I finished my face, I'm gonna go in with my sister's eyelash brand from Linux Co on Instagram. And I have the style Nikki, and I'm gonna put these lashes on. I'm not gonna do that on camera because I don't feel like it, you know? But it's gonna look like this. This is how you put on your lashes. Okay, so I put my lashes on and we are almost done. I feel like a good lash always makes such a difference in the best kind of way. So lastly, we're gonna be doing my lips and yeah. So I'm gonna be using this old ColourPop lipstick that I have. It's not old, but it's like, I've had it for a while and I haven't worn it in a long time. And it's brown, it looks like this. Oh, step one is to wipe the Vaseline off your lip. And then take this and put it, I'm gonna put it mainly as the outline. It's so much quicker than lip liner. <laughs> a little bit in the middle. And then I just put a lip gloss in the middle. I'm gonna be using this one, the Glossy. I think it's, oh yeah, it's Rimmel. Rimmel London. I got this from Target. I do remember that. It's just really light, light pink. And that is all I use to do my lips sometimes. I always change up the products I use for my lips, but I always do the same kind of look. Brown on the outside, lip gloss on the inside. I'm just gonna take out my braids from behind my ears. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and maybe you'll just start doing your makeup like this. Give you a nice flawless beat, subtle but flawless. And they're gonna be like, oh girl, who did your makeup? And that is it for my video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again on my next one. Bye.